Eivor, the time has come. Our time. Our time for what? My final glory awaits. Your final glory? I fear to ask what that means. Do I not speak plainly? My time in Midgard is done. I wish now to see the hall of my ancestors. If you wish to die, it will not be by my hand. I do not speak of death, Eivor. I speak of life. Life and glory everlasting. I know I've been in a fog these last few weeks. I know I speak words you don't fully understand. But I only ask you trust me once more, on my final voyage back to Norway, to wish my father farewell and achieve my destiny. Back to Norway? I need to discuss this with Ranvi. If you must. I will await your answer down by the docks. Do not keep me waiting. I want to see the Alliance map. It may be time to return to Norway. Sigurd is eager to see his father and... and beyond that, I do not know. I have heard ill news about Styrbjorn in the past year. If you go, go with care. We will leave now, and return as soon as we are able. Good. And be safe. Both of you. Sigurd. Shall we then, Eivor? To Norway, and well beyond. To Norway, then. Good, good! Lead on! strange. A few years abroad has shaped us more than all the decades we spent here, brother. And it's bloody cold. Colder than I remember. Go. 
Sunan. Fjord. It pains me to say it, to think it even. And our father, his fool, the poor man. It is a role he chose. He bent easily and broke in half. Do not pity him. No. For many moons I could not sleep, always thinking of his betrayal. The horrors I wished upon him. He deserves nothing but shame now. Put it out of your mind, Sigurd. There's no need to hound the old man. No. He must taste the same foulness that I taste. He must know what glory he missed by staying here, the lapdog of a conqueror. You want to speak with him? Yes. Face to face. I will tell him the truth. Hush now. Alric starts. It thrives. In spite of our father, no doubt. Are you sure of this? I will say what needs to be said. Do you fear his rebuke? Oh, no. I crave it. It may be the old hound has lost his bark. But maybe you will light a fire beneath him. Inspire him with tales of our glory. If I do, I'll stoke that flame until it burns. Hey, what are you doing? Let's put her in here. We can continue. I'm coming after, Stirman. Show me what lies ahead. What was it Randy said? Our father spends his days in the mead halls and his nights on barren pledge. That's right. We'll search the mead halls. I remember one nearby. A sad hole where men soak their unhappiness. We should look. Where Come empty-handed. Not even a gift to offer. Rats don't appreciate gifts. They sniff and lick. That poor Without soaker. Care. He never leaves. You are chipper, brother. Sun up to sundown. We should go. Look at him. Father. Sigurd? My son, Eivor. By Odin's blessing, come and let me look at you Stop. both. That is far enough. Blood of cheer. What happened there? A grievous wound you have. Are you well? Far better than I look, I assure you. This... this calls for a toast. Your journey must have been long and cold. A drink to warm your blood. We are not here to drink or make merry. Only to look upon the rackets of a once great man. And then what? Make new war against King Harald? Stake a claim on his crown? Is that your wish? To sow more chaos here? <laughs> You're absurd, old man. What could possibly interest me in this frozen backwater? Interest you? You robbed me of my wealth when you left for England. I presume you would do it again. Not my idea. You left us with nothing when you pledged for King Harald. We took only what we deserved. <laughs> oh. 
I have returned for one reason only. To say goodbye. And to thank you for your colossal failure. Failure? As a father, as a king, as a man. For without it, I would not have discovered my true self. My failure, as you call it. My oath to King Harald was the only sensible path forward for a man in my situation. What have you done with yourself since? Drink heavily and weep for what might have been? I have... I have worked to spread Harald's message of unity. I heard you sleep beneath Harald's bed, always at his back and call, and that he uses your gaping mouth as a chamber pot. You make light of my service to a great and powerful man. Is that how you treat those who serve you, Sigurd? You pathetic word! Sigurd! This is not why we came. Plans change. As do hearts. Not this one. And you, Eivor? You should have told us of your plan to bend the knee to Harald. And spared me the shame of seeing my father debase himself like a gutted pig. You are right. I owed you the truth, and for that I am sorry. But I will not apologize for what I did. Then I have nothing left to say to you. My son, please! Sigurd, wait! I have spoken my words, and he has spoken his. And from this class came bitterness. What more need be said? I wish you well, Sigurd, in spite of all that has happened. I hope you find what you seek, and that it brings you peace. It will. Our destiny awaits. Do not linger long. I know you love him, Eivor. I know you trust him. But do not follow him blindly into darkness or despair. This sad business is finished. And good riddance. And now we sail for further shores. To my true purpose. To my destiny. To the end of my road. I will follow you as far as you wish in this world, brother. But if you mean to take us further, I may reconsider. I do not think you will, Abel. I think you will marvel at what I have to show you. Still dwelling on your father? Not at all. I was only reflecting on my visions, wondering at them, how present they are, like memories of yesterday. Describe them for me, your visions. My earliest was of a large door embedded in ice, far north of Hördafilke. The Saga stone embedded at the top of its arch. As the visions grew stronger, the door opened, revealing many things. The life tree Yggdrasil, the golden fields of Valhalla, and the faces of our gods, all of whom called me friend, brother, warrior. I felt at home among them, warmed by their love. You should know, you are not alone in this. I too have had visions. Have you? And what did they foretell? It is hard to say. I've seen Odin leading me into shadows. I've seen spinners weaving wild destinies from pools of blood. I saw the great beast Fenrir, the branches of the world tree, and a man with... Go on. Valka warned me of a great betrayal, but what form it takes I cannot say. 
I see. I hold to my oath, Sigurd. You know that. Betrayal is not in my nature. Of course not. You are a stalwart as a pillar of stone. Come now. My destiny awaits. To the waves. The door is over. Yes. I feel a great calm as we cross these waves. This Run up the sail! Does he bend? Will he break? Guthrum's army will be chasing him across Wessex now. With luck, he will push Alfred into the sea. Strange how these earthly concerns seem so distant to me. But we've gained so much in England, and we stand to win even more. The Christians are hardy foes. They see one man above who holds the axe. One man higher than us all. That is a powerful fuel. We hold our own axe. We swing it where we may. The woman, Fulke. In my time with her, as painful as it was, she showed me things. Things so strange and wonderful. I am almost grateful for her treachery. What she did to you was cruel beyond measure. Yet, with every snap of the flame, with every scar, the loss of my arm, my visions grew stronger. Have you... She was as mad as the ocean is wide. Even the mad ones can offer wisdom. Their Jesus was an odd fellow. Now half the known world loves him, and no one believed us when we were young, and we chiseled our plants onto tables in meat halls. Not even my father. There is the Sigurd I know well. Can we not return to England and finish together what we began? No, forget all that. The future is forward. A great wealth awaits us. I'm with you, brother. Until the end. A white rage stands in our way. Keep moving forward! Do you know the way? As I know my own mind! We will cut through this winter sheet like swords through straw! Do not worry! To perish on a lonely fjord would be the shame of our clan! Ha! That we would! Wait for this to pass! Ah, oh, the sting of ice and skin! Revel in this, Eivor! We walk the footpath of the gods! To where? More glaciers and deserts of snow? To glory! 
Could we not wait until this tempest quiets down? With a ship, where we have mead and food to warm us. No! We must confront the omens and honor the gods! They will not seek or find you! We must go to them! We would be poor company, with frozen bones and ice pellets for eyes. You need not fear the cold, Avon. Where we are going, the winds and snows cannot touch. Ah, it's as bitter cold as wind from Niflheim. Keep steady. It should not be far now. Fingers. I hope so. There, a frozen lake. This must be it. And ahead lies a cavern. Will you not say where this leads? You will see soon enough. Too late to turn back, I fear. There! The cave! Within hides the sacred gate! This looks fragile. Races. This is it. Gods. This door. Have you seen this before? The space above. The Sarkis stone sat there, did it not? Long, long ago, yes. Now stand clear. Svachoi nogvat uns membro trurvondi quorde uns solas vras gnogadide Unsum hukas reis derae hasaunsin. How did you do this? Where did you learn these words? I told you, Eivor. My visions are memories of a life once lived. Come. Gods. What is this place? Here, 
this blade will lead us onward. By dwarfs. It is finely made, that much is true. I doubt Gunnar could hammer a piece any finer. And this cavern, so deep and humming with magic. tree the tree of life what is this see how proudly she sits how beautiful she gleams here all the roots of life run together the skulls would cry to behold such a sight and there is more to come i swear by all the names of the old father this is only a taste of what i have in store for you for my visions go further to odin's great hall Sacred energies. I have never seen something so grand. This shrine is ours. It will open for us. Watch and see for yourself. How do you know these things? Was all this in your vision? All this and more. Is returning to me now. This ancient shrine is set alight by the sphere of metal. And these shining arms, these branches, they will grant us access to the refuse of the gods, to Valhalla. Are you ready? What lies beyond all this? Where does this lead? Take your place at the center there, and you will see. to be here.
What is this place? you would come. Welcome. Are you... Are you Valka's mother? Swala? You have a keen eye, Wolfkist. After all this time, Eivor, we have arrived. Now raise a horn with Freya here and sing a victory song. Sigurd, what is all this? Your, your arm has returned, and your vicar as well. Glory eternal, Eivor. Here we dine in the great hall of the slain, at long last. Oh, I want to scream with joy. This is... This is all so... beautiful. Your visions were... They were real. The battle has blown! Come, dear! To the field! Fight with us! Go, Eivor. Enjoy the fight. You have earned your place here. This place is incredible! Enough with those short flies! You and I must fight! The battle we never had! And hold nothing back, for here we need not fear a thing! Spill the eternal lord of Valhalla! At last, I share the din of infinite battle with the true Trollars! You will face a meal of iron before the day is out. Brother! Worry not, Aver. <laughs> For we earn no scars here, only battle wisdom. What just happened? Glory, Harvey. 
Harvey. Let my lips with another horn of mead, brother. Sigurd, your arm has grown back. It was never gone, Aegon. Not truly. Nothing is permanent here. I told you. Nothing save the courage and reputation of its warriors. Are we immortal in this place? <laughs> Let us discover that together. A new day. Marrow's bad. Again, you've lost your arm. And again, it will be. Father, is that you? Battle cheer. Dearest Skald of war and verse, how do you like this frenzy so far? It is. It is quite something. Raise your horn, Eivor. What stops you? My father, Varin. Have you seen him in this hall? I have not. Should he be here? No, he died a coward. Yet by Odin's eye, I swear I've seen him. Cast aside your cares in Valhalla. Let seeking go. We have earned our joy. The journey is complete. Seen Varin. Who? Varin. My Varin. Father. Beat a man to death with it. Do you not tire of his injuries? Never. Wait, Father.
Eivor, you have a guest. You should have knocked first. Nonsense! I brought you someone. Look! My Eivor! There you are! What a warrior you have made of yourself! I am overfilled with pride. How did you find your way here? You remember our great battle. You remember how we fought side by side with your mother and Sigurd and our clans united. We fought, father, but you did not. You died a coward. Eivor, enjoy this. Your father has returned. Have you lost all your love for life? That was not my father. That was a lie. That was not a lie. That was my gift to you. I have power here, and I can do as I please. You wished to see your father. I made it happen. As easy as breathing. By Odin's laws, my father is not allowed in this place. I do not wish to see him where he should not be. Your father died doing what he hoped would save you. He died to protect you and his clan. No. He... This is the end of our road, Eivor. This is Valhalla, the eternal golden field. Now come. Battle beckons. How is all this possible? How were the slain brought here? The Valkyries know this. Only them. No. That cannot be true. None of this feels right. Do not despair, Eivor. Look. Your friends are here. Everyone you could ever want is here beside you. No. They are not real. This place is alive. This place can be whatever you wish it to be, Eivor. I do not want it. Not like this. You would resign yourself to an empty death? The ecstasy I feel here is an illusion. I would sooner call like a raven than sing a false song. Illusion or not, here there is no death, no pain, no loss, no betrayal, not like out there. You want this? To live inside a lie? I am an old woman with a broken body. What life I had left was brief, so I bid farewell to my dear Volka, and came here. I wish you well, Swala, but this is not for me. I must find Sigurd. The arm! The arm! 
Always the fucking arm! Sigurd, this is an illusion. A trick. Leave with me now, and return to England with me. Our people need us. No. I am no one in that world. I am somebody here. Powerful. Capable. A god. Here I may live forever. Here I cannot die. Cows die. Family die. You must die. The only thing that never dies is the reputation of the one who's died. In here, you have no reputation. But out there, it's not too late. Every day the same empty war, the same hollow victory, spilling blood that tastes of water and smells of grass. You have known real battle, real glory, but this is not it. You know this. I know you do. Brother, it is time to leave. Am I destined to follow you everywhere? Till the end of my life? All right. We go. No, you stay. I do not give you leave to go. Why leave this place? A glory you fought so hard to find. Walk with me. I am humbled to walk with you, Eivor. Your reputation is a song warriors will sing forever. The wolf-kissed one, who lingered at the edge of death, yet fought back. You spilled the raven wine of battle, to paint whole kingdoms red. You have killed kings and crowned them as you desired, bowing to none. You stood tall where your brother stumbled, yet still you came to his aid. great foes in your brief time. You have earned your place here, Eivor. Seize it. Stand aside. My people need me. I have given you everything you wanted. Everything you needed. You gave me nothing. It was all me. Yet I cleared your path. I guided your axe. You were a fly, buzzing in my ear. How dare you deny me? Everything you believe in stirs before you. Yet, you question all. You question the very gods. Do not diminish yourself. Your corpse hall is nothing but a dream. Nothing but a dream. A dream is as real as anything in this world. Do dreams not inspire? Do dreams not make us fearful? Do they not push men to their greatest glories? Then I am done with dreaming. Yeah. 
Yeah! 